Kevin. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's great to be here in Cleveland and at the uh, 40th uh, RAA convention, so fantastic. Uh, before I get started, uh, you know, obviously, uh, Kevin has shared a great deal of information on our products. It's uh, quite exciting for Lombardi Commercial Aircraft. Uh, things are just as exciting on the services side uh, as we get to uh, look at our existing products and also uh, work uh, with our product development team on the C-Series aircraft. Before I get started, I, I do want to introduce some of uh, our key team members who are with us today. Uh, so first, uh, Martin Elliott, he's our Senior Director, uh, Regional Support and C-Series uh, Introduction. Uh, Martin. Morning, everyone. Uh, Bourbon Lynn, these are uh, Customer Services Director for the Americas, and uh, Mervyn takes care of the complete region of North America and South America. Mervyn. Morning all. Uh, Stephen McCoy, he's our General Manager for our Commercial Aircraft Service Centers. Uh, that's West Virginia, Macon, Georgia, and Tucson facilities. Good morning. And Don Nolan, he's our Director of uh, Sales for all our maintenance services that we provide. Morning, everyone. So as we uh, get started, uh, as friend Fred mentioned, uh, we uh, we welcome Swiss Airlines uh, to be the launch operator for the C-Series aircraft. Uh, in the customer services organization, we have been working on the C-Series program uh, since the beginning. Uh, we have been uh, embedded into the product development teams and uh, happy to say uh, we have been uh, influencing the design of this aircraft uh, since its inception and uh, we greatly look forward to uh, uh, first half of 2016 uh, when the aircraft enters service with Swiss Airlines. Uh, we are working together with Swiss on uh, our entry into service plans and uh, happy to say that uh, Happy to say we have a, a very good roadmap uh, for our customer services activities. Uh, so uh, our activities include and uh, range from maintenance planning, the documentation required to uh, manage the aircraft, uh, training, our startup support uh, when the aircraft uh, enters uh, into our customer's hands, uh, our new CRC, this is our customer response center, and all of the e-services that we uh, have been building and developing leading up to the first delivery of the aircraft. And, and that's to name a few of the uh, entry into service plans and the support activities that we're working on. Uh, we are uh, obviously uh, very aggressive on what we're trying to do with the C-Series aircraft. Uh, we are <coughs> introducing a number of new uh, service features, service offerings, and uh, we will be making a step change in how uh, the aircraft uh, handles and performs in service uh, while our team uh, is working together uh, jointly uh, with the, uh, the airlines. That technology at its finest. <laughs> so what I can do while uh, we're waiting for some of the technology, we are uh, here to make an announcement today. Uh, happy to say we have been working uh, on our aircraft health management system uh, since the beginning of the program. Uh, we are uh, uh, working on a number of fronts uh, on the C-Series aircraft and happy to say uh, we are announcing today 
Uh, we have uh, signed an agreement with Pratt & Whitney as our data service provider uh, for the HMS system on the C-Series. So uh, please uh, welcome and acknowledge our Pratt & Whitney friends uh, who are here today with us uh, to acknowledge this announcement. <coughs> So the, uh, the HMS system, uh, you know, what is it? Uh, this is a real-time monitoring, recording, and transmitting uh, system that we built into the aircraft. Uh, and, uh, you know, this system collects data and uh, has the ability uh, during its flight to transmit uh, specific information in flight. Uh, but also, uh, more importantly, uh, we have the ability to download information uh, in parallel aircraft to aircraft uh, through our aircraft health monitor management system. Uh, this uh, brings huge uh, improvements uh, to the airline's management of the aircraft. So what ends up happening is when the aircraft uh, get into the gates, uh, traditionally uh, what would happen is a maintenance technician uh, with his or her laptop uh, would enter the aircraft, they would connect into the uh, uh, diagnostic uh, system of the aircraft and start to download all of the parameters that have been monitored on the aircraft. Uh, as you can imagine, that takes uh, uh, you know, a lot of time. Uh, the individual will have to go aircraft, aircraft, aircraft. Uh, with, uh, with our HMS system on the C-Series, uh, we are uh, now able uh, to do this uh, instantaneously uh, through either cell network or Wi-Fi network and we can conduct the downloads on multiple aircraft at the same time. Uh, so this is bringing true value to, uh, to our operators and really uh, being proactive in our approach to maintaining and managing the aircraft as they are in service. We will also be announcing, uh, you know, as we progress on the development of our complete AHMS system, uh, further details uh, as we go through the coming months leading up to our C-Series uh, entering the service in 2016. We're also, uh, and I do apologize for the, uh, the video here, but uh, uh, we're also focusing a great deal on our existing products. Uh, you know, we obviously have a great uh, passion for developing new airplanes. Uh, our team and customer services uh, look after all of the commercial aircraft worldwide. And uh, we're now somewhere in the order of 2,700 aircraft that are flying each and every day uh, throughout all parts of the world. Uh, Want to specifically talk about some of the things that we are doing to enhance our existing product line. And I'm going to use uh, one specific example. Uh, happy to say, uh, a week, uh, a week ago, roughly, uh, our uh, customer Witteros, uh, who was our launch customer for the uh, Dash 8 100 Life Extension Program, uh, we call it the Extended Service Program, ESP, completed their 16th aircraft uh, in their fleet, and uh, a very big success for them. Uh, they have uh, upgraded the uh, their aircraft, and uh, you know the benefits that we've seen so far is improved performance of their uh, Dash 8100 fleet after uh, the life extension uh, program was completed. Uh, also happy to say in January of this year, uh, as part of our uh, aircraft sale for the Q400, uh, we also uh, agreed to a, a commitment with uh, Chorus Jazz uh, for the launching of our Dash 8300 uh, life extension program uh, for the Dash 8 uh, 300 aircraft. Uh, we will be working and are working currently with the Jazz team on uh, configuring or knowing the configuration of the aircraft, working with them on the specific details of the upgrade program, and we will be launching the service bulletin uh, in 2017 uh, in order for them to commence their uh, extended service program on the their fleet of uh, 19 uh, Dash 8 uh, 300 aircraft. So uh, a major success story, and uh, we look forward to uh, uh, working with many of the airlines who are currently operating uh, the Dash 8 family of airplanes, uh, looking at extended service program for them. Uh, what is the extended service program? Uh, this basically extends the uh, useful life of the aircraft. Uh, today, currently, 
Uh, the useful life of the Dash 8300 uh, is 80,000 flight cycles. Uh, with the extended service program, uh, we uh, collect the data uh, from the aircraft uh, as it has uh, lived its life up to the 80,000 cycles. Uh, we conduct a major analysis on the uh, structure and the systems of the aircraft, and then we uh, have developed a service bulletin uh, that uh, introduces a new maintenance program post uh, 80,000 flight cycles. Uh, it upgrades uh, specific systems on the aircraft, and it upgrades specific uh, structural elements of the aircraft, which then allows the aircraft to fly uh, past its 80,000 life cycle and up until uh, 120,000 flight cycles. Uh, our Widerow aircraft, their lead airplane, is now flying uh, in the area of 90,000 flight cycles on their, their first uh, aircraft, the Dash 8100, that they upgraded as part of the ESP program. We're also uh, focusing on uh, you know, all of our regions around the world. Uh, most specifically, uh, our, our largest market is our North American market. Uh, as Kevin mentioned, uh, you know, we have over uh, 1,700 aircraft flying in this region. Uh, so for us, this is uh, you know, our prime region. Uh, although as the markets emerge uh, around the world, we are growing our services on a global front and uh, we continue to look at how we can service worldwide. Uh, but we do have a specific attention uh, to the North American marketplace and we will continue to look at uh, improved means to service and support our customers as the global fleet in North America continues to grow. Uh, I'll now uh, hand it back to Marianella and uh, she'll uh, close uh, the session. Thank you.